Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress and the Fortress of Sunny Stakes. This is episode 9. On a marathon uh, recording binge today, I'll probably uh, make this my last Dwarf Fortress. Try to get into some football manager here shortly. And through the weekend, uh, especially since Leeds is not uh, being televised uh, in the States this week, uh, but anyway, our uh, our little dog here actually worked out. We got this notice that uh, there was a thief, and when it popped right in front of this fortification, which is basically a, a, a carved pillar uh, that you could shoot arrows through, and so you you know kind of like a little window. Uh, the dog saw him, uh, busted him, and they immediately turned around and ran off. So good job by the dog to salvage. Uh, save us from them getting in uh let's see what else has been going on okay let's take a look at the uh forge layer so we've got our smelters up and running in fact this is still uh getting full so our our little measurement here has not measurement duh our pressure plate has not triggered yet to close off this floodgate which is fine not a problem uh, let's see what else is going on. All right, so we've got our five smelters up and running. We have our first forge. You have to use steel anvils when you're dealing with magma. If you're using wood and stuff, uh, using an iron forge is okay. Uh, but in this case, we have an iron forge. I'm going to end up melting it down. I do need to make another steel forge. Uh, you know what I can do? Huh. Um... Yes, weapons and ammunition, and I can make a copper pick. Let's make four of those just to get them started. Hey, cat. Um, all right. We have had our first birth. It was a girl. We just had a boy. Back to this lair. All right, so let's take a look at what we've done here. All right, so this is a flux stone. Uh, pile which is needed to make steel so you can see we don't have any here this is iron and you can see we have a lot of iron ore there that they're smelting down into iron bars this is a tetrahedrite stockpile tetrahedrite when you smelt it makes silver and copper and they're also doing galena which you know what um, I'm going to cancel that one. Galena just makes, actually it does make 50% silver, but it makes a lot of lead too, but eh, maybe. All right, you know what? I'll go ahead and keep it for the silver. All right, that's fine. Uh, and then this one I have doing tetrahedrite and hematite which is a combination just some overflow now the lead uh the lead i i do not have a place for so i dug out this little junk room down here and we've got lead going here lead is extremely heavy so you can't really trade it at least not really well uh, i am probably going to make some statues with it i'm thinking that might be something to do with it uh, in fact, let's see, Q, uh, lead, st statue, there you go. Let's make five of them, just for shits and giggles. Um, all right, they have not made any wo wooden shields yet. Why not? Uh, that should be my carpenter shop. Hmm. I'm going to take those off. Might be that there's not room. I think that's what it is. So that should get rectified now. And the wooden crossbow. I'm going to I'm going to cancel that. 
uh, remove that order because now that we have I want to make copper oh that's not what I want all right JMQ copper crossbows let's make 10 of those and Q copper shields make 10 of those that should get our forge guy started we do have a really good armor so what is he doing he's forging a copper pick awesome for him we do have some bolts going into here some steel ones uh, you know what I think I want to melt I want to melt those and then let's go ahead and cue melt a metal object melt a metal object we'll cue that up in a couple what else do I have up here all right there's a bronze crossbow bronze crossbow bronze and a steel so let's melt that all right let's go into our military go into our archers and I want to equip so first off a weapon bronze crossbow bronze crossbow bronze crossbow bronze crossbow and we'll use the copper war hammers just because I don't have anything else copper really sucks we're gonna make silver ones and then we'll swap those out uh, as soon as we can all right there are no shields or anything all right well get to it all right that's armor that's weapons that's the ammon no that's another weapon that's the ammo okay all right so uh h Oh, I need a new route. Steel bars. I'm gonna go there. We'll put the stop in. Take from here. Give to there. Bars. Steel. Then I want to make sure. Yep, those are already set up for steel. So we are good to go. All right. So now we can kind of keep track on what we've got. So we need pig iron to make the steel. And we need flux stone. Should not have any idlers. Well, yeah, I guess we should. All right, let's go to military alerts. All right, we are going to go to active training. All right, back into military and schedule. All right, so our hammer dwarves, train, 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 month off. All right, and then one, two, three, off, one, two, three, off, one, two, three, off. All right, so they'll start training. Are we digging? They are carving it up down staircase. Okay, we'll talk about that. I do need to build... Let's build right here. Right there. and right there all right this is going to be a barracks for our hammer dwarves i need to build an archery training area and i'll do that somewhere else but let's go down all right so that's filling up nicely all right so here is uh some of that area we've already excavated 
That's the other area we excavated already. All right, here's an area we have not finished mining out just yet. This is some flux stone. So let's go ahead and we'll do that and that. Now, if you want to be realistic, let's save a couple of these spots for some like support pillars, right? Uh, we can do that one right in the middle. We'll do that one there. That one, that one, and that one. So, you know, yeah, we give up a little bit of stone, but you know, it's for the semblance of realism. All right, back to our stairs. So we started working our way down. Strangely, we're not getting any metal through here. So that's slate. We've got a lot of slate down here. All right. So this is where we're endeavoring to get to. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Actually, want to go up. All right, that's what we want to do. All right, so they'll come in here. And this is going to be the very bottom of our fortress. And very much like, uh, you know, if a turtle or, you know, gets attacked, it pulls into its shell. Dwarves, when they get attacked, they pull deeper within to their mountain. So this is go kind of going to be the, the bottom end. Of our fortress this is where we will retreat to uh, when we are in dire straits all right a human caravan has arrived fair enough so let's move some trade goods um, oh you know what I don't need that iron anvil we can sell that we can bring that we can bring that and that all right now let's go back down to where he's digging oh you know what we can do while we're waiting here our other miner we never did turn off his labors because He did not have a pick, but I am willing to bet, yes, he has a pick now, and he is actually, no, storing item, he's digging, so the other one should start digging. Oh, crap, that's not good. Hello. All right, well, I screwed up. DX. All right, DC wall. Let's build with the Gavro that's right there, right? Come on. I want to make sure somebody comes to do that. There he is right there. Excellent. All right, now, so we've uncovered a cavern lair. Okay, so I want to dig from there to there. 
think that's what I want. Then we can come out of the very center here. We did pretty good coming up right alongside. I want to want a couple of doorways in there just for fun. And then I want I want to do that. Actually, let's change that to a 5. All right, that should get us where we want to go. All right, we've got the shields. Two, three. Door. All right, we've got a lot, a lot, a lot to do. What do we have in here? Picks. All right, so we've got some extra picks. We have some pig iron. Okay, so now we can actually set any one of these guys have just one job. He's got hematite. So we're going to make steel there, tetrahedrite, and let's go ahead and do I want pig iron there and steel here. All right, that'll be good. All right, we're 17 minutes in. Okay, I want, how much silver do we have? Not a ton. Uh, JMQ Silver Warhammer. I want, uh, I want 10 of those. All right. Build armor stand. I think I built these earlier. Yes, I did. All right, so they get an obsidian and a weapon rack. Obsidian, excellent. All right, so I can actually set the room, but I'm going to wait for him to dig it out first. Um, let's go ahead and finish this side. That would be much helpful to me. And I can put a door there. Very good. All right, you can tell that's the newer miner because he's much slower. <laughs> Tick, tick, tick. All right, so now we can come up here and we can make this a barracks. And we're going to assign that room. No, we're not. Q. And we, okay, so we go down to hammer dwarfs because they're the ones we want training in this room, and we're going to set them up to train. There we go. And what is that? Squad. <coughs> I don't know what that means. Let's find out what that means. Squad EQ. Uh, that is a um, barracks. Housing, supplying, training, and otherwise servicing. Um, okay. Not sure what that is. If anybody knows what the squad EQ is, let me know. Oh, 
individual I wonder if that's individual equipment squad equipment we'll figure it out oh well I've never used it before so not that big of a deal all right we are going to get some beds into here all right we do have a petition available uh, he wants to eradicate monsters. Well, that's just, you know, he wants to come in and just wander around killing monsters. That's good for you, man. That's actually something new. Haven't seen that, that before. All right, bed, 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 bed. Oh, nope. Q, F, nope. QX, there we go. And B H container. If you've ever seen the military, you know they all have a foot locker at the end of their bunk. All right, uh, let's finish digging that up. All right, so this is going to be a barracks hammer doors and sleep there position uh, yeah. yeah I don't care about that so I'm just gonna train them uh, assign them to sleep there all right we can get one more bed up here one more container there that's one two three that's six seven eight nine ten that should be good all right where are you at all right you're here that's fine let's go down to our All right, another girl. Oh, you know what? I think we are, let's ask for our trader. All of our stuff's there. Let's go ahead and trade real quick, and then I'll go back down. Uh, unfortunately, uh, OBS does not have a pause option. I could stop the recording and then come back to... Uh, You know, then come back and start recording again, but nah, I'm not going to do that. All right, there's another one. Um, yep, I'm not going to bring in a lot of these guys because that is something new, these monster eradicators. Um, so we'll let them come do their thing. All right, we can trade. Now, here's something to remember if, you, if you're not familiar with the game or if you've had issues. Now, this is a human caravan. There's also elven caravans and dwarf caravans bins which are storage boxes are made out of wood elves love trees they love wood they love the trees so they you know they're tree huggers so they don't like you cutting trees down and if you try to sell them something made out of wood they will lose their freaking mind now they won't attack you they'll just get mad and leave you do it enough times they may go to war with you which is okay um, in fact, a lot of people, when the elves come in, they just like close the drawbridge and then attack them and kill them and steal all their stuff. But in this case, we don't care. So what you want to be careful of is instead of being able to trade, say, just the, if I, if I hit enter here to mark this bin for trade, everything in it is going to be traded. So everything from here down to the next bin here. Now you have to kind of make sure there's nothing in there that you want. But with the elves, you would actually, instead of doing that, you would actually have to come down and hit each individual item. Which, by the way, you notice that's going pretty fast. If you hit the shift button and then your up and down arrows, it will trigger everything for trade uh, rather than hitting enter, down, enter, down, enter. Yeah, that gets old fast. So we're going to go ahead and mark everything for trade here. uh that is our yeah we're not trading that that should not even be in a bin right so uh, 
Okay, so I have a problem here. That's okay, we'll figure it out. But we are not trading that. So, so you do have to kind of pay attention. I think that is something too we can, uh, let's see, view the good. A Bayberry, I believe that is the, yep, that is our other, one of our other things. So it's just rotting away inside of a, uh, now that is not, you can tell it's only 120 uh, dwarf bucks. So that's not a problem. And you'll notice like uh, the rope is a different color. So you want to be careful with that. And let's see, I'm betting. Yep, there is our, there is our other artifact. All right, so we've already got 5,300, so let's not worry about it now. We've got plenty of stuff we can still sell. Let's find out if there's anything. Let's buy a couple of ropes. It's always good to have some rope. Um, water skins. A cavey sow, that's kind of like a guinea pig. Waste. I don't need any more cats. Let's buy some sheep's milk. Maybe we can cook with it. We'll get a couple of different wines. Right? Golden salve. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty expensive. So let's buy some. Fisherberry wine, beer, beer. Now you want to be careful buying weapons from humans and elves because dwarves cannot use that weaponry. If you have a human that joins your fortress, like one of these monster hunters, and you get to where you can control them, then you would actually have, they can't use dwarven weapons possibly. I'm not sure that's 100% accurate, but you may have to buy weaponry from their racial um, caravan. That's what I was trying to say. All right. Um, yeah, like morning stars and, and whips and stuff. I think that would be pretty cool. But none of our guys can use that. They can't lift two-handed swords. So most of the weaponry is is a waste of time. Um... Shoes and stuff won't fit them. I don't know if the clothing will, like mittens and stuff. I'm guessing the answer to that is no. Wow, that's a expensive bag. Sometimes having just extra bags laying around are good. So we'll buy a couple of bags. I don't need any of their seeds. At least not right now. Uh, we could get some black sand, yellow sand. Okay, this is what I usually buy from the uh, humans is cloth. So I'm going to buy all of their cloth. And, you know, you buy one or two caravans out of their cloth and leather, probably will give you enough for your the duration of your play so <laughs> all right now they're selling at a loss which is okay because remember we have a ton of stuff still to sell so let's come find uh let's find some more stuff to sell all right so we're gonna sell all of this All of this, not selling that, we'll sell that. I don't want to sell my quivers, so we won't do all of that. And you can see we're back up to 3,923 profit down here. So let's come back and see what else we can buy. And we still have stuff to sell, so this could be a pretty good haul for us.
All right, now they do have to buy the copper bolts. I don't need to sell, I don't need an anvil from them. Let's go ahead and buy some foods and fish. And I don't want any of that stuff. Actually, uh, blueberries, raspberries. We can uh, we can brew that into some kind of alcohol. And uh, you know what? Yarn, thread, that's all good to have. You know, it's good to start bringing some stuff in because you never know when one of your dwarves has that fame, that mood and they're going to want something just completely unusual. All right, we're down to 753, so let's try to sell some more stuffs here. All right, so we're buying 11,190, well, 80, 8877. And they're going to get a $3,000 profit. I don't think I need anything else right now. Let's see if they'll take that. And um, yeah, I don't know that that's going to happen. Let me go find out. It's hard to see what they, what they added. So let's go back up to the top here. All right, so that whole thing is in. That's good. Okay, no. They want one of our artifacts. I am not going to sell that. But it doesn't mean we don't have a deal, right? So we're going to come down to here. And I can sell you that. And the anvil as well. Eight thirty-eight. Usually they're going to want about 50%, so we may have to come back and take some of this stuff off, and that's fine. We've got a lot in here, so let's take off a cloth. A cloth. That's a cheap cloth there. Right. All right, that's, that's about 50%. Let's try that. Okay, so they took it. All right, so we are going to turn off the three things that we already had. We don't need a broker anymore. I do want to go to the kitchen immediately. And if it's brewable, we want to turn off cooking. That way they can brew it and we can make liquor out of it. Now, we did buy... So we want to drink the alcohol, remember? So we're going to turn all that off. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and put a cut in here. I've gone a little long. My apologies. Uh, let's see. Shift F8. Shift F7. That's our wagon. What the heck is still out there? Uh, T. No, there's nothing there. We're going to break that down. Fair enough. Um... F5, no. Where, dang it. What level is that? Uh, F2, Duh, there we go. All right, so let's redo that. Shift F2. Uh, hotkey, Shift F2, zoom. All right, so now we've locked in. So this is going to be our wells because this is going to be over the water down here, right? This is going to be our hospital, and this will be where our hospital beds are. So the other thing I need to do here is let's go ahead and, and I'll make slightly bigger bedrooms down here for the doctors. All right, so we'll have a couple of bedrooms there. And I've made the barracks. Next thing I need to do is dig out the a new barracks for the archers, which will also not only include a training room and a barracks for sleeping,
but it will also include an archery range, which you can actually include in the same area. So we'll do that uh, next episode, or I may do that off camera and have that ready just to get those guys training, but we'll see. Uh, also looks like we, we have some steel. Oh my God. All right. So, uh, yeah, definitely time to start doing some of that. Uh, <laughs> some steel. I do want to let that pile up a little bit cause it goes fast. And, uh, if I remember next episode, when we're actually getting into some more weaponry and armor, we'll talk about the differences. But again, if you don't understand anything, or if you have questions, ask in the comments and I will try to answer those or cover them in the next video that I record. Uh, keep in mind, I did record four episodes today, so we'll probably have a week and a half to two weeks of episodes still to come. As always, thanks for watching with me today. Thanks for hanging out on my channel. Please consider a like for the video. Helps more people find it. Subscribe, which helps me hopefully one day get back to the uh, point where I can start uh, getting... Uh, a little bit of ad revenue, which I'm not getting any right now. Other than that, guys, thanks so much. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye.